Okay, so I was gonna make some cool artsy clip, literally of like, oh my god, like, good morning, here's me drinking coffee and doing yoga and getting ready for the day. Um, but our power just went out in our apartment. I don't know what to do. But right now we don't have power. Update, Astrid and I have both fled the house. Astrid and I just drove about 30 minutes um, outside of KC to this conservation area. And I'm just gonna vibe in the silence for a bit because I have felt very out of it lately just being in the city for so long. I brought my manifestation journal and I also just brought my regular journal. That's like a nice circle though. so much for taking the time to be here with me today. My name is Elle. Welcome to my channel. I haven't introed this vlog yet. Yesterday I tried to and then my friend like FaceTimed me in the middle of it so I didn't get around to doing that but welcome. How are we doing today? I believe it's Days are lost. It's Tuesday, I know that. It's February 16th. The I don't know how I will rearrange these clips, but I've just been filming some things um, over the past few days and I'll just compile it together and I'll continue to film <laughs> for the next few days and compile it together. Earlier, you saw me go to a fun little conservation area with my cat, Astrid, who's actually sleeping right out of frame. And I just went there and basked in the silence, walked around, really just grounded myself. But it was fun, it was needed. I grew up in a really small town, like right on the river. So living in a city is just such a change. And I love both, like I love both, but for completely different reasons. So I am just going to have a relaxing afternoon. I may clean my room up a little bit because you can see the pile of clothes behind me. I also wanna take a shower, but right now, our bathroom pipes are frozen, so I'm not able to do that. I don't really know how to unfreeze them. Yeah, I'm just drinking some coffee. I just, ugh, I thrifted this super cute mug the other day and I love mugs a lot. I collect mugs. Yeah, I just want to show you guys this mug. On one side it says cow by Pablo Picasso. And then on the other side, it says Starry Night by Vincent Van Cow, and I just think this is the cutest mug I've ever found. So yeah, that was one of the mugs I thrifted. I also want to show you guys just some things I got at my local metaphysical store the other day. I had an old channel. I don't I wasn't I wasn't sure how I was gonna go about this, but I had an old channel 
but I no longer use that name and also I just had that account for a really really long time. If you're somehow finding me again and you're like who is this person I'm pretty sure I may. Granted I only had like 45 subscribers on that account and they were all like half of them were my friends. The likelihood of perhaps like a stranger finding my account is and being like oh my god I watched them is I feel like unlikely. But if you saw me on my old channel and you're finding me now, welcome. My name's L E. Yeah, welcome. Not Ellie, but you can call me L, or you can call me E. Yeah. So don't call me a girl, because I'm not a girl. I picked up this Mystic Mondays tarot deck. Listen, oh my god, it is genuinely the most glorious deck I've ever had in my entire life. I just, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to show you if, look at them. Like, I'm going to show you my favorites, if I can find them. Oh, like, look, like, look at Eight of Cups. And if I can find the Devil one, the Devil one is genuinely my favorite card it is so pretty so if I can find it I'll show it to you my like second runner-up and it is the seven of cups like ugh, they're all just so like pretty and like minimalistic but just so also just like extravagant I love them they're out like they're gorgeous and uh, yeah walking into the metaphysical store I didn't plan on getting a tarot deck but you know how it goes. I just felt really drawn to it and I was like, there's absolutely nothing more that I want than this deck. So I picked it up and I don't regret it at all. I also picked up a few tea light candles, just various colors, purple, indigo, yellow, orange, and black. The next thing I picked up was probably about 20 sticks of incense from the brand Wildberry. I got fairy dust shooting star this one is sandalwood and it's like a nice green which is really fun and then i just got a pack of this incense which is just protection which i'm pretty sure it's also sandalwood but i also thrifted i'm just showing you guys everything i also thrifted this really cute star dish the other day the same day that i thrifted this mug so if you can't tell it was a good day like, that is so cute. I didn't get to do a spread this morning, so I'm probably just gonna check in with myself. Yeah, I didn't get to have a nice relaxing morning like I planned, but that's okay because I got to go to a fun conservation area and really just absolutely bask in the nothingness and wholeness of everything. And it was absolutely what I needed and I want to be able to do that more and as it gets warmer I will be able to and as it gets warmer I'm just making so many plans to just like immerse myself in nature more and really just life is on the upswing my guys life is on the upswing and I got tangles through my body saying that and I am just so <laughs> I feel so, uh, I'm not sappy and cheesy and ridiculous for saying this at all, but I'm just so ready to see what the universe has in store for me because, yeah, my dreams are 100% possible and I am 100% going to achieve them and I just have so many ideas and plans and dreams and I want to be able to document that. I just saw 1212 and I just saw 1111 earlier, oh my god.
Oh. What I've been doing for my daily spread each day is I'll do two different um, spreads typically if I feel like called enough to do both. And I, tr I do a three card layout for both and I just ask Tarot my feelings for today, my health for today, and my thoughts for today. I won't talk to you guys about my spread, but um, most likely, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, like is that something that I should talk about? I use the guidebook that it comes with and then I have two different websites that I check. I haven't been doing tarot for that long. I would say I've been doing it for about a year incredibly inconsistently. Um, like I haven't been practicing every single day for a year, but I've had um, my Lenormand deck for Pra for a little bit over a year. I don't, I think I mentioned this earlier, but this is my first tarot deck with like um, major and minor arcana. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Arcana? 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 I don't know. <laughs> my um first poll i'm really happy i'm just oh, the universe is so good spirit is so good i am so good Once again, pretty satisfied with both, I'm just pretty satisfied with both of these readings. I really like these cards. I really, yeah, I re like, yeah, I resonated with both of them. So I'm going to Jana for a bit, drink some more coffee. I might catch up on um, some Megan Hughes vlogs. I love Megan Hughes and I typically watch her religiously, but for the past week or s few weeks, I haven't been um, keeping up with like my favorite content creators like I usually do.
Don't forget to drink some water. I'm really bad at drinking water. Really bad at drinking water. But I'm trying to get better at it. So if you're seeing this, drink some water. Because if you're anything like me, you're probably really dehydrated all the time. One of the things that I feel like I've learned over the past few months, weeks, I don't even really know. Time no longer exists to me, so I'm just here for as long as I am, and that's all that matters. But I think one thing I've learned as of late is just like, it's going to sound so simple, but it's like just how healthy and positive you feel whenever you set healthy boundaries with yourself and with the people around you. Like I said, it's so much easier said than done, but I feel like it's just so important to like tell people, tell the people around you whenever they do something that makes you uncomfortable. And I feel like I'm just now really kind of getting around to doing that. I mean, that's completely okay, but I just feel really like sad for myself for like past me never like being too scared to set like healthy boundaries and fear of people leaving but I did the best for what I knew at the time there's this artist that I follow on Instagram and they posted an illustration um with the words I did the best for what I knew at the time and that has just really stuck with me because there's a lot of things that I'll feel guilty for and like I think about how I could have approach those situations differently I don't regret anything I love my life right now and I am so happy where I am right now and I am exactly where I need to be but that doesn't mean that I don't feel guilty about some things still am working through trying to not feel guilty about things I've done in the past and I forgive myself I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Forgive yourself for anything that you may have done to yourself or to other people because you did the best for what you knew at the time. And that is okay. You are such a better person than you were then. You are so good and you are so loved and you are so worthy and deserving of good things and a good life and happiness and love. You deserve it all and you can create your own reality. You are constantly creating your own reality. I am constantly creating my own reality. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, I'm home from work. I'm about I'm gonna make some dinner for my roommate and I. Oh, grocery haul time. Here back with the goods. Turn this into something for me then. Yeah. Okay, two pizzas. Okay. Screamin' Sicilian pepperoni. Yeah, we, those were out. Some fun. Fruit bars, okay. strawberries, mango, very menthe. <laughs> Do I tell the vlog? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love corn dogs. And then we also got some garlic dinner rolls. Got some food snacks. Three different types of bread that we're somehow gonna go through. 
We got some honey, semi sweet baking chips, and cheese. Yeah, and then we got some apricot preserves. We have some goods. Ooh, honey. Honey. Wow. Look at how full. Wow. 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 not that big of a revelation or like a life hack or a tip or anything if you ever just don't feel like getting up to go stretch or do yoga literally just do it in your bed if you don't stretch or do yoga your body won't feel as good as it usually does after you stretch or do yoga i woke up this morning feeling a little unmotivated and rather over it this morning at 4 a.m my roommate woke me up because um, the pipes in our bathroom had busted or not in our bathroom but like for our bathroom and we could hear it in the wall 